Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a full-time data scientist who has a huge interest in makeup. Today we're going to talk about some new collections from Charlotte Tilbury. This collection is called the New Jewel Collection, which contains some lip gloss and some uh, Jewel iPods. And uh, in addition, since I also got the lip try-on samples from Charlotte Tilbury as well, I will also do uh, some bonus lip try-on videos for your guys. If you are interested, then please just uh, keep on watching. And uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate that. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. Look at what's finally here, the Charlotte Tilbury Drill Lips and uh, Drill Pots. So this box come a little bit squishy, but uh, it's fine. Let's open it together. So this one looks like this. There's a little note. What's that here? Clear, clear disc after use. Oh, that's fine. Just to close the lid. So here comes the product. I got the color in Walk of No Shame in both iPod and the lip gloss. Oh my god, this is so small. <laughs> this is way smaller than I imagined. Uh, just as a comparison. This is a normal Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize eye cream, uh, the cream shadow, and this is the new edition Walk of Shame pot. And I'll do a color swatch for you guys. Coppery, shimmery, <laughs> how about lip gloss? Ooh, it is pretty. The new jewel pot contains 0 0.1 ounces, which is equivalent to 3 grams, whereas the eyes to mesmerize has 0 0.24 fluid ounces, which is equivalent to 7 mils. Her eyes to mesmerize shadows retail for 36 Canadian dollar, whereas the new jewel pot is 40 dollars. So in this case, the new jewel pot has less product but pricier. And the formula wise, the new jewel pot infused with diamond powder, multi layered pearl pigments, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, argan oil. Macadamia oil and rose hip oil. I do believe the diamond powder and the multi layered pearl pigments are the reasons why it is so expensive. And uh, texture wise, the new Drew Pot gives a more slippery, light, sheer type of feeling, whereas the Ice to Mesmerize is more bouncy and creamy. This may also explain why the shelf life for the Drew Pot after opening is 12 months, whereas the Ice to Mesmerize is 6 months. And I can do a comparison for you guys side by side. This is the new Drew Pot. And uh, this one is the eyes to mesmerize. Actually, this new drill pot texture really reminds me of the Hourglass Scarlet Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I have a color in Aurora, and uh, I will do a comparison for you guys. So this is my Hourglass in Aurora. Just by looking, they actually look pretty similar. And uh, it also gives you a pretty slippery kind of finish. And uh, you can take a look here. Yeah, I think those two are pretty similar, I would say. Actually, I think for the Hourglass Scattered Light in the color Blaze or Rapture might be a dupe for this new Draw Pot. So for this new Charlotte Jewel Lips, there are actually two colors, Pillow Talk and Walk of No Shame. Pillow Talk is a nude pink, which gives you a your lip but better color, but since I do own a lot of pinky nude gloss, I choose to pass on this color. And the, the color I got here is Walk of No Shame. It is described as hydrating, plum effect, ruby red glittery lip gloss with a dreamy copper sparkle, which can last up to 7 hours. It also contains diamond powder, jewel tone pearls, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. In addition, it also has film formal polymer, which helps to create a soft, elegant, non-tacky feeling film over lips. And here is the swatch for this lip gloss. And you can see how it looks like under the strong light. It is super sparkly. 
Now I'm going to do a swatch comparison about some similar colors I think would be a dupe for this product. It may not be that glittery and shimmery as this new drawer pot, but the color wise it might be really similar. So this one is the new drawer pot. Sorry for my bad swatch. I think you do need to layer up for this product. So this one, the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury new jewel pot. And uh, I think there might be some similarities from the Charlotte Tilbury, the Icon palette. And uh, let's see. I will swatch this color next to it. Oh, this is actually more burgundy. How about this? Yeah, those two actually are slightly similar. Similar, I mean. But this one is more like a metallic finish rather than glittery. And uh, yeah, but the base tone is quite similar actually. And then I'm going to do a comparison with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. I think I might find some similar shades from this palette. I think this one looks pretty similar. Yeah, I think they're all belongs to the same kind of family. This one is also like metallic shimmery, but not really glittery. Mm, how about a matte shade, like this one? No, actually this one is not so at all. How about this one? The middle shade. Actually, wait a minute. Actually, let, let me do swatch this one next to it. I would say these are all from the same family, and this matte shade would be great complementary shade for these colors. But like, they're not exactly the same, or not like not even the undertone. How about this one? Actually, I'm a little bit curious. Well, this one is more red compared to this one. Okay. And the next one I would do a comparison is from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Sorry, it's actually the Sunrise Palette. I think the, what is this name, Azali, it's pretty similar maybe. Hmm. This one is actually a little bit more orangey compared to this one. I think this is more coppery. Hmm. Is there any other color from this collection that is similar? Hmm, not really. How about this wiki? Actually, I think those two are pretty similar. I might be blunt. <laughs> I think this one has like a pinky tone compared to the new jewel pot. Okay, the next one I actually want to compare is from the Tom Ford. Uh, this one is the cream and powder eye color in the shade Golden Peach. I actually do not think this one is a dupe or anything. I just really like the formula here. Here is the cream product. You know what? I actually think those two are kind of similar as well. Wait, just uh, let me layer up the the top glittery part. Mm. I'll get some of the glittery part on top of the cream. I still think it's not as glittery. I think this is this, the, the glitter of this one is more fine, not as that obvious. But I do think this is like a comparable dupe compared to that. It's just not as glittery. I think it's because this one has the diamond powder. And uh, just a random one from the MAC. This one is from the Aladdin collection from last year. I think this is a limited edition, but no. But it's fine. I just want to do a comparison to see. Huh. I think it's not really. I mean, all of these colors might from the same family, to be honest with you. And uh, I think besides this one, on eyes, except for this one, super shimmery, there aren't that much difference. But I am curious and want to do a little experiment. I do have a Natasha Denona, the diamond and blush palette. And uh, there's one shade here that is also made with the diamond powders, this shade. I just want to see 
if I layer this on top of some of the similar shades, that, but not as sparkly, if that would be give you quite similar look. For example, this one. How do you guys feel? I would just add this to add all of them actually. I mean, yeah, it's really dupable now. <laughs> I already have my full face of makeup done. I will list all the product I use in the description down below. If you are interested in any of the product, just give it a look. Now I'm going to apply the eyeshadows and by using this Charlotte Tilbury new jewel pot. First, I will take her instant pillow talk eye palette and uh, do some transitions and other shades. First, I will take this Refer 14 brush and uh, get some of uh, get the first shade in this desk palette and uh, put all my transition she puts all my lids as the transition shade make sure it is well blended next up I will switch to the Tom Ford number 11 brush and uh, pick the color also in the desk part but the third the third one of the desk, which is the Enhance. I think it's the, oh, it's actually the smoke shade from the desk part. And uh, put it on my outer corner to give it a depth. And uh, blend it slightly towards to the uh, transition shade. Now I will take the Refer 14 brush back and uh, grab a little bit more of the first prime shade from the desk part and uh, just uh, blend the edges to make sure everything blends together. There's no apparent line or edge. And then I will take this Tarte eyeshadow brush from the 2017 holiday collection and apply a little bit of the prime shade from the desk on my lower lash line. And then I will take this pretty dense brush and grab a little bit of the smoke shade from desk to enhance the outer corner of my lower lash line. Just along the lower lash line. Don't need to really blend it. And then I will go back to the Tarte uh, eye brush with a little bit of the prime shade again from desk to blend the edge now. Make sure it is well blended. Now I'm going to apply the star of the show today, the new Charlotte, uh, the new Charlotte Tilbury, the jewel pot in the color Walk of No Shame. And I will apply one eye with my finger and one eye with a brush, and I'll tell you which one, which way it may perform better. And I will do it with this one and apply it to my eye. I will give, I will apply a little bit more. I think it's pretty sheer. It will look like this. Now I'm going to use a dense packed brush to apply this shadow on my other eyelid. Well coated. And uh, for the close up for the two eyes. Personally, I like using the finger to apply it. I think it gives us a more finely melted kind of look. For the brush side, it is equally good. But as you saw, I actually use three layers to build to the same effect where I use two times of finger to apply uh, from uh, to get the product from the pot. Now it's the final step. I'm going to use the prime shade from the day collection as my inner pot. Put a little bit on my inner corner and a little bit under the brow bone. Yep, 
the eyeshadow palette is complete. Now I'm going to apply some eyeliner. This one is from Velour Lashes. It's called the Lash and Go. Uh, I got a sample deluxe size from the Sephora uh, order, last time order. And uh, I've been tested this for several times now. And I will have a video later to talk about do I like this product or do I dislike it. On the If you need to be careful about anything when you apply this. It worked as not only an eyeliner but also the lash glue so when it is still wet it's really tacky and you can directly apply your false lashes onto it and when it gets dry there's no tackiness at all and it's completely become a uh, black eyeliner uh, this eyelash uh, this full la false lash is from a Japanese brand I can't really remember it but I would definitely uh, list it down below the description box if you are curious one eye done yeah and my recommendation is please do one eye at a time especially if you're new to the false lashes otherwise if you take too long the other one will just be completely dried out it works quite nice and uh, just a little bit spoiler, I, re I actually really like this uh, eyeliner and uh, eyelash glue two-in-one product. Now it's the final step, the lip gloss from the Charlotte Tilbury collection in the color Walk of No Shame. This is a kind of berry, look, berry shade, but when you apply it on the lid, it is actually quite natural. It's not like really intense berry like some of other lip shades it is not tacky or anything and it's quite hydrating actually it says there's like plumping effect but i didn't feel any like there's no minty feeling at all and uh, i really really like this color this goes really well with my eye look today now I'm going to try on those eight shades for you guys. Those are from two different lines. One's from the Kissing Line and one's from the Matte Revolution. The reason this one is missing is because that's the shade Stone Rose and I do have the full size here. So I sent this sample to one of my friends to let her try if she likes uh, the formula and the color. The first shade I'm going to try is this one. It's called Penelope, Penelope Pink. And I will just apply by using a lip brush. It's kind of a pinchy pinky nude. I actually don't see too much of pink in this shade. I do see a little peach. Wow, this is such a pretty nude though. Now I'm going to try on the second shade. It's called the Beach Perfect. I know this one is someone, a lot of people's absolute favorite peachy nude. And uh, I will give it a try this time. Actually, compared to the last shade, I think this one is pinkier. Mm, what do you guys think? Do you prefer the last one on me or this one on me? I actually think I prefer the last one. But that is the Beach Perfect. Now the shade I'm going to try is the Stoned Rose. And as you know, I do have the full size of lipstick, so I will just apply it directly. Wow, this is such a stunning shade. I like this shade a lot. I think it's a great shade in the fall uh, winter time. And this is the number three, Stoned Rose. Now I'm going to try the shade number four, Kim KW. And uh, just by looking at it, this one is a little bit too new, too light for me. I think I wouldn't like it as much, but I will still give it a try. Oh yeah, it's super light. All right, guys, I look sick. <laughs> I think this shade would look stunning on a deeper skin tone, but not something for me. Like, I I can't really wear this shade by itself. I look too thick with this color. In my opinion, the only way that I can make it work is to either use a really deep lip liner, 
go around it and uh, maybe like uh, use the liner to uh, fill in the entire lip and uh, put it on top or I would just like use it as like a, shin a center kind of pop shade I definitely wouldn't wear this color by itself it looked too deep uh, too light for me and uh, this is the color number four called Kim KW now I'm going to try the colors from the Matte Revolution site and the first one I'm going to try is the color Walk of No Shade it kind of a brick brown kind of red this is the color walk of no shame again this is a really great fall winter type of lipstick color and uh, yeah I do really like this one this is their all-time uh, best-selling shade as well like one of the best-selling shades and I can tell why I really like this shade now the number two shade from this matte revolution side it's called the red carby red and uh, this is a stunning blue tone not blue tone actually there's a kind of pinky at pinky undertone red I think I really like this red actually please forgive my rough application and this is the color red carpet red I do really like this color although I don't really wear red that often oh my god my lip is burning it's fine last of two the number three is called the bond girl and uh, this one is a uh, kind of deep mauvey browny kind of shade This one is called the Bond Girl. Personally, I don't think this is my type of shade, but uh, I still think this is a super pretty shade. Hmm, number three, Bond Girl. Okay, last one to go. They're one of their best selling shade, the Pillow Talk. And uh, this one, I don't need to describe it. I think everyone knows. It's kind of the pinky, deeper kind of pink that is pretty universally flattering. This is kind of your lip, but better color. This is the last one, Pillow Talk. Please leave me a comment below and uh, tell me which one do you think look the best on me. And uh, to be honest, I think this is a, such a good idea for a brand to come up with several different lip samples for you to try out, especially during the COVID time. Like we can't go to Sephora and test the color, not even on our hands. And uh, this will give you a better insight of which kind of color suits you better and the which color do you want to go for and at the same time give a really safe like sanitized purpose that's it for today's video i will give you some final thoughts on this new charlotte tilbury jewel collection do i like those two products yes um, do i think it's like really pretty yes do i think it's worth the money uh, for the lip gloss yes but for this draw pot personally for myself i really can't recommend because I'm sure we all have some similar shades, the coppery kind of shimmery shades from our own collection if you're a makeup lover like me. And uh, I do believe like you can create a kind of similar look with the using by using the same product here. And uh, to be honest, for this multi-chrome, no, no, sorry, for this multi-layer pearl and the diamond powder, if it's not in the street light or like you're walking on a sunny day, you can't really tell. Like what, but like majority of the time, if you're staying in inside of the like indoor, you can't. You don't really have that strong lighting, and the diamond powder and the the pearl aren't showing that much. Just like now. But if you haven't got anything like this shade, and you like the packaging, and you love the glittery kind of multi-dimensional glittery shimmery type of shade, and you also you you just like like this shade overall, I, I would still recommend you to go grab it because the formula is still excellent. And uh, that's it for for all my thoughts. And uh, please leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you like this or not. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.